Just like in the movies, they stare at each other like this. You You never watched this movie? Long time ago, yeah? Where'd this piece go? I remember this one falling off. Does this thing look scary or what? Don't fall down. Don't fall down. If you blow on this thing, this thing will tip over. This piece here, this is like a snot, yeah? Hi everyone! Welcome back to Big Me Up Scotty! I'm Scotty! What's up you guys? Check this out! Woo! This thing probably looks really terrifying from there. Maybe it looks terrifying from here. But I'm actually more scared if this thing will fall over. Because this is super delicate. Man, a lot of you have been waiting for this one. And you know, Mini Sam has forced me to clean up the studio. So I figured this is here. And it fell over once, I had to put it back together. Actually, this thing has fallen over so many times. But it's here, it's intact, so check it out. This is Thingbo's Elsins. I'm just kidding, Alien, Xenomorph, XP04001, 2020 pieces. And oh, look at this baby. Now, if you have this already, you're laughing at me right now and you're laughing at this video because you guys know the problems with this set. It actually really looks really amazing. I was like terrified when I first put it all together. I was like, oh, this thing is freaky, man. So if you're a fan of the film Alien, this is amazing. If you're a fan of building bricks, mm, you gotta be really, really careful with this thing because man, this thing can fall over. And I'll try my best to give you some tips, but look at this thing. All right, so first of all, look at this manual. I'll be really careful I don't hit this guy. There's a book there, can you guys see it in the close up there? Kind of, yeah. Look at that, woo! And of course they have the designers. Amador and Ramon. There they are again, guys. This design was either stolen from them or they sold their souls. Because apparently they're also known as the Arbo Brothers. You can buy the manual from their site. You can either support them or you buy this. I'm not sure if it's legit. You know, let me know in the comments. You know, they have the, the whole profiles on here. Look at the profile, man. I had to be extremely gentle when I put everything down because man, oh man, oh man. Oh, where do I start with this thing? Look at the top. It's so tall. That camera, can't even see the bottom. You know what? Let me do a quick pan for you guys with that camera. Here, like this, look. Whoa. Look at them legs. Look at that tail. I love the scale, I love the size. You do have to be really, really careful when you're building it. So the set does come with one sticker. I did not put it on yet. And it says deformation. And if you haven't seen the chest burster, which I absolutely love, it's amazing. It's up here and I put the sticker on there. And the base plate that this thing sits on, it's better than the other one. The other one kind of didn't make sense. Although I did like the blood on the other one. This one has like a switch here. I guess that represents Ripley pulling that thing and saying like, you have T minus. I forget how many minutes, man. I'm a fan of the film and I forgot already. She's got to get out of there or she's got to fight this biat. <laughs> I had to center that, right? So the white on the bottom doesn't really go well. I probably would have kept it in a darker tone just to kind of match the whole alien, but you got to work with what you've got, right? And the little things here along the front are prints, so that's cool. This base plate thing is actually pretty well built. I didn't have an issue with that. Now, we start to work our way up. Look at them legs. Look at that body. Look at the arms and the head. The one thing that actually really stands out to me is the little pipes that they use all over this thing. It makes it look real industrial. It's a really nice addition to the whole thing. On the back of his legs, on the front of his chest, and on his head. It just adds so much more detail to it. Okay, so the really good thing about this set is when you're building it, you actually build everything in sections and it is actually very solid in my experience. I didn't have any problems putting the body together, the arms, the legs, the tail and the head were perfect. It's when it all comes together, it's when it starts to crash. Now the build does get kind of repetitive, but first of all, it's all black, man. Good luck searching for those pieces. But you know, you got the same leg that's gonna be built on both sides and the arms. Now one funny thing is from here, down where the feet are, I actually took two pieces out and they're like really, really small. You can put them in if you want to. I felt like that was the reason why this thing was actually tipping over a lot. And I took those off and it feels like it's a little bit sturdier. Right here along the bottom, you're probably seeing the close up of it now. That's where it splits off. So besides this area that kind of split apart, you also have to be very careful because the plate only has two small pins right there. You see that? That's it. That's all that is holding this thing up. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, go back down, boy. There we go. Push those feet in. It's not really secured there. You may want to use some craggle, some super glue, 
glue that sucker on. Now for me, when I'm building these things, I don't want to use glue unless I really, really super, super have to. But just to show you guys that I'm not using glue, look at this, his arms can move. Yo, what's up guys? Push those back in because they can fall out really easy. And then his legs here. Hello. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my red time girl. Oh, see, look, it came off. We'll push that back in. There's a reason why I didn't want to move it yet because, man, this thing feels like, it looks like it wants to fall over. Look at that. And its legs are going to split, man. Don't freaking touch it, Scotty. Leave it alone. So we'll go up his legs. I like the legs. I think the knees and the joints, everything looks really, really cool. I absolutely love the tail. You know, I'm going to strip this thing down for you guys just to show you. What's interesting about the back is that his things that poke out at the back, they actually have more parts for it. Like you can switch the back out, but the parts, I'll show you the close up right now. These ones here do look a little bit more organic than the ones I have on right now, but I think the ones that I have on now hold up a lot better. So that's the reason why I'm using these ones. I like it better, it sticks better. I'll just put these aside. Here, I'm gonna stand up so I can see the front of this guy without touching him. It's just really crazy, man, the amount of detail they put in there, like his rib cage and his groin area. I, I don't know how to describe or what to say about those parts that they use, but they all hold into place. I actually haven't had a problem with that falling apart. His arms are really cool. They do articulate, fingers move, elbows move. But again, you do have to be very careful with the joints where they connect in here and here on the thighs, on the legs. Those can actually pop off really easy. And then you come to his head. I really love it. And you got this little accessory piece right here. This is the drool. Ew, saliva dripping down there. So with the overall feel, actually looks really awesome. I actually love it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan this camera down and I'm gonna start taking this thing apart so we can show you guys where the good and the bad part lies in. Here we go. First to show you guys that it's really not glued together, I'm gonna pull this off. Here we go. There, you see? So he's not glued. That's the proof. Don't do the splits, man. This is fragile. So we're gonna take off this arm first. We're gonna pull it off like that. Now this is loose, I wish there was a better way they secured it in there or made it a little bit longer so I can go in more. Something, man, they need to fix that. But it, it's secure, I'm telling you, each section is actually pretty good. So we'll take off that arm, take off this one. And then we're gonna take the legs off. These are the most fragile parts here. I'm gonna pull it out. Yeah, there's the leg, one leg. Ah, there we go. Oh, something fell. Okay, that's easy. This part, just like this, looks kinda cool. You can just hang them up on your wall like this without the arms and legs. It'll look like the movie poster, yeah? Something like that. Anyway, and finally, if you really want to take off the head, you just pull these little pipes out here, here, and just pull it up like that. And then we can just simply pop off the tail like that. And there you go. That is the body and the layout. So now we can really get into this and I can break it down for you guys, yeah? So the head, I really like it. Look at that. See, I'm telling you, it's stable on the head. Just not as a whole set, it will fall apart on you. But here, check out his mouth. It does open and close. Yo, what's up, you guys? Yay! Look at my spit. I like the jewelry pieces that hang down. That's pretty cool. It's solid, it looks good. I like it. I like his sharp teeth there, look at the teeth. Yeah. Now we come to the arms. I just realized I'm missing a finger now and I didn't realize I was. But anyway, I'll find out. It's somewhere here. You'll see it looking better in the close up. But look, all the fingers on both hands articulate like that. You can rotate, spin that around, just like that. There, yeah, you see that? Give you the middle finger. You know, kids shouldn't be watching this anyway. He's like, yo, elbow and arms move just fine like that. Yay! It's all in one piece, this is solid. These parts are super, super solid. All right, so here's the legs, the feet, probably the weakest part of the whole structure because it's just these two that are holding up the whole set. The joints here, you can see it right here, could be a little bit stronger. And why will it collapse? Because down here, like I pointed before, I put the two pieces here out because the legs can actually move a little bit and it's always gonna push right here. And look, if I go like that, oh, you see how it splits? If I push down like that, boom. These can come off really, really easy. That's the part, if you're actually gonna glue it, that would be the place to do it. So when you do put this together, you wanna make sure you balance it all out first. And it will stand, it's actually been standing a long time. It's only when I move this thing, it'll fall. So you do have to be careful for that. The leg itself look totally fine. I like the detail on it, the side. It just looks like it's an armor 
It really reminds me of Aliens. Kudos for you guys that made this for making it look really intricate, but it just sucks if it falls over. Check out the body, man. Yeah. It's actually super solid. I like the back here, and I like the things that are protruding and sticking out. It just looks very HR Giger, yeah? Geiger, Giger? Imagine a pinhead Lego brick figure. Yeah, I don't know if I'd had that hanging in the office. This is already scary enough. But as you can see, it is solid. Yeah, yeah, look at that. You can play football with this thing. Go long! But cool, I think it's actually really well done. So there we go, put this to the side. Finally got the tail. This thing is rugged. It is really durable and it's really cool because you can bend it, you can stretch it straight if you wanted to, kind of, you know. It might eventually pop off on you. And the, the end bit here, it is rubber. So, you know, I just lost it earlier, but there it is, it's back on here. And I had it curled up this way because that's how it looks in all the promotional photos online and in the movies and the films. But I guess you could stretch it back if you wanted to. Very cool, I like the tail, man. And of course, I told you, the saliva, you'll probably lose this. So, you know, it's just a decoration piece. Should I put it back together here with you guys? You think it's gonna fall apart on me? Watch me and let's see how we do it the right way. Pull the emergency release system. Okay, close this up. I would actually put the legs on this first. Don't put the arms on yet. Don't put the head on yet. Legs going first. You gotta make sure it's pushed in really tight. If we don't get it in, man, it's gonna be really loose and come out. Okay, so we got that in. Be careful we don't knock pieces off the other side. There. I'm gonna put him down first. Gotta find the hole. Stand him up straight. We'll knock him over. The arms next. Hey guys, it's half a body. Stand this side again. Careful with the pins. Make sure you get them in properly. Like so, look. So he's balanced, he's not falling over. Maybe the tail next. We'll go like this. Yeah, and finally, the head. Here we go. Put the head here. Slide it on. And then we put the little pipes in the side. Now it's a balancing act. He's actually actually balancing okay. But if you wanted to like move the tail up like this, move his head down a little bit. Keep checking those feet. Make sure you're always like holding this down, pushing it in. And there you go, look. He is standing. Look at that. If I shake it, look, a shake test. Side to side is okay, front to back. Oh, his feet are gonna split open. I'm gonna try to catch him like this. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, he's holding up pretty good, man. He's gonna fall down now, watch. Oh, like that. The feet, man, I'm telling you, it's the feet, see? And just like that, we do the same thing again. I'm so scared to bring up my base plate, but it's dimension time. So if you have a 32 by 32 and you wanna kinda know the size of this guy, check that out. So I'm gonna put this here and by width, well, it's kind of roughly around 22 studs by width, just so you guys can see that. Ooh, let's pull this guy back a little bit. So hope he doesn't fall. Lift up his tail like so and check that out. That's actually 32 studs by length. So technically, if you don't want to use this plate, you can take them off and put them on here, but you got to figure out a way to modify the feet so he can stick there and won't fall over. So Brika, you won by four bricks. Now this guy is tall. If I was to put my bricks here on the stand and it just touches his head right there, there's 51 bricks in height. Without the stand, you know, it's probably like an additional three bricks there. So probably like 54. Now, if you're curious about the height of this guy, it is around four bricks in height with a power switch there. It's around there, just so you guys can see. There you go. All right, you guys, I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. I'm gonna get some close-up shots. I gotta find that fingernail so I can put it in the shot for you guys. And yeah, it's available on bringmeupscotty.com. Go get yours from there or anywhere. If you buy this from us, I'll throw you a free gift because I feel sorry for you buying it, but it does look really awesome. Just don't touch him. Don't touch him. All right, all right, you big boy. I'll catch you guys later. Until next time, bring me out. It's very nice to meet you. Can you high five? Not really. Yeah, your arm's gonna fall out again, boy. Dude, no drop test, man. You already saw him fall over. If I do a drop test on this, it'll take me forever to do the insert shot. You know, right here, actually looks like a face. The two eyeballs right there on his groin. Oh, they're looking. They're looking. Don't, don't do that. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, head, 
shoulder, knees and toes, knees and toes, eyes and nose and mouth and ears, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, yeah, oh no, your legs are coming off again. Yo dear, check me out, I'm hanging on his saliva. Uh, Scotty, you're lucky this thing's not moving right now, and Big Scotty's still not here, he's on tour again. I'm kind of happy this is not our story, because I think I'd be scared. I don't think I'd be able to sleep for months. Yeah, you know what, dude? You're right. I don't think we should be here anymore. Let's get out of here right now before Scotty makes this thing come to life. All right, you guys. We're going to go. Yeah, you're right. We're going to go now. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.